and well coached, gritty, tough, um, and they played huge. They played like they had nothing to lose. Uh, they loved the stage and obviously shot the ball incredibly well from three and really scrapped defensively. You know, and I thought they had a good plan, and I was just really impressed by them. Senior loaded team uh, with a lot of veterans, and uh, hats off uh, to Long Beach State. And so uh, it was a great game and a, a good win for us. Thank you, Coach. Now, questions for Brianna or Mikhail? Gary Moore with the States of Durham. Uh, Mikhail, first NCAA tournament game for you. Was this a different atmosphere than anything you've been? Part of before, and could you describe maybe what was going through your mind on that last possession when Long Beach State could have won the game? Yeah, it's a different atmosphere for sure. If you lose, you go home, so um, no holding back at all. And um, the last last possession, we needed to stop one stop to help us move on, and um, it was nerve wracking. But you just play as hard as you can and hope for the best result. Bree, there were a few times, especially in the second half, that you guys looked like you were not all on the same page. Is that true? And then in timeouts, what were you and Sydney and the other leaders, you know, talking about? Yeah, there was a couple um, scenarios where we were a little out of sorts and just trying to make sure that we were on the same page. So I think that was really our goal going into timeouts to just uh, refocus and get everybody where they need to be. Uh, Kayla Washabelle, Orange Media Network. Coach, uh, is it nice to know that uh, – Oh, can you ask me some No, uh, student athletes right now, sir. Okay. Uh, Bree, you uh, had a lot of big blocks. You had a lot of great defense down low. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we need me to make plays in the post, whether that's off offensively or protecting the basket. And I mean, um, it makes my guards a little more comfortable to get out and go get them if they know they got help in the background. So I think that's a huge goal for me. Travis Hay, King's Guardian Dean. Bree, kind of a, a similar question, but Sid struggling, you know, in, in that game, you led the team in points and obviously led the team out ahead, I think, with, with boards. Just what was that like, the mm. responsibility of this game really for any team like that? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I put the team on my back. I think um, Sid definitely um, got the ball to me and opened it up, but it was definitely from her being such a threat and doing that for us. So, I mean, if it's always coming from somewhere with this team. So if you are sagging down and taking away the post, our guards are going to kill you from the outside. If our guards are, if you're out working on our guards, then our posts are going to kill you from the inside. So it's really just pick your poison more than putting the team on my back. Question in the back. Uh, just the way that the game started, how did you guys feel? Was it nerves being at home? Did you guys just kind of walk me through kind of the opening half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say we kind of got off to a slow start. Um, didn't run our stuff as well as we could. Didn't execute as well as we could. Had some turnovers. And I think um, towards the end of the first half, we kind of started building some momentum and were flowing better offensively. Yeah, I agree. I think we definitely started out um, a little off of our game. But eventually, we pulled it together. And we need to definitely work on um, consistency and take that awareness into the, ne the next game. Just being more focused and coming out strong. Can you use that scare, so to speak, as, you know, hey, we almost lost, we almost got eliminated. Can you use that as positivity moving forward? Absolutely. I think we take every game as a lesson and try to um, take those lessons into every game that we'll play in the future. So this was definitely one of them. Thankfully, it turned out in our favor. Uh, to piggyback off that, do you think you guys weren't focused and you overlooked them? I mean, it was really a I think we came in um, with the right mindset, but um, they played well and they hit some big shots and tough shots. And I think just usually we don't give that up that many points in the first half, especially. And um, I think going forward, we have to step up a defensive game and let our offense um, work off that. Next question for our student athletes. No further. Congratulations. Good luck Thank Sunday. <laughs> 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 uh, now open the floor for questions for Coach Ruick. The back first, then Hudson. In the back, go ahead. Yep. Uh, can 
go with the Oregonian. Uh, Scott, how well do you think you guys handled the box in Warner and how concerned are you with the way you handled it that you see it Yeah, we've been seeing it all year. And we, we got our 30th win today, so we've been handling it pretty well. Um, I think we're, we're not giving Long – you guys aren't giving Long Beach any credit. Um, this is a good team, and I think you can throw seeds out the window. Uh, that's a team that we watched play in Vegas three times, and I'll tell you, I didn't want to play them there. I was glad we got Oklahoma State um, in the championship of that thing, um, on one day prep especially. Uh, they play an interesting style. Nobody plays like they play. And so we've seen boxing ones. We've seen everything all year long. I thought our team handled it well. Um, you know, I think we were a little bit off our game early. We were, it's rust, we're rusty. I mean, two-week layoff. Um, you know, a playing against a team that plays a style that nobody else that we've seen all year plays. And so I think we got to give them credit. You know, and so they came out with nothing to lose, hit big shots. We missed a couple layups early, I thought, that uh, could have been r r calming presence for us. Um, and when you miss them, you're like, uh-oh, you know, and then they capitalized on that. Next thing you know, it's 5-4, and they're banking threes in and, you know, hitting off the back of the rim, popping straight to the ceiling and falling in. And so things went their way early. Um, you know, that threw us off, you know. But boxing one, triangle in two, uh, one, two, 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 three, three-quarter court press, full-court press. There's nothing this team hasn't seen. There hasn't been a – there's no scheme that you can throw at Sid that we haven't seen. Everybody's done it. And I thought they did a great job of it. And they've got the athletes to do it and to do it very well. I mean, those are – that's Pac-12 level pressure that we saw today from this team. And you got to give them a lot of credit for that. Um, to piggyback off that, Scott, with Sid, she's an All-American. She's the best player on your team. She only took eight shots. Does she need to be more assertive? Do you guys need to run more stuff for her? You know, I think about the Stanford game here. You guys ran so much different stuff to get her open. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. I mean, you'd love to get her some open looks uh, more. I mean, sure, I would love to. Um, I think part of that is them. Part of it's what they give you, you know, and our advantage was inside in this game. And we had a hard time getting the ball down low early. And then, like I said, we missed some early shots that kind of hurt our confidence. Um, against that team, that's where we need to go, you know. And Sid, we, we can play off of that help that they will have to provide then, and that frees Sid up a little bit. Uh, so we, we had a hard time just getting into any flow, and you got to give them credit. They switched their defenses, and, you know, for some reason we were just a little bit slow. I mean, you alluded to it earlier. You know, we didn't change things real quick. I mean, our communication, I think that was rust. We were just talking about it in the locker room with the coaches. It was just, you know, we were just our, every, we weren't quite as sharp today, but we haven't played for two weeks, you know. So, um, you know, it was what it was. But, yeah, I'd like Sid to shoot a few more times than that. Far left in there. Scott, um, yeah. Kyle Odegaard with Associated Press. What does this win say about your team when you have your star player have a really rough shooting night? Yeah, uh, a lot. I mean, it, our defense, you know, was key most of the day. Uh, we, I thought there were a few open looks they got, but a lot of those threes were challenged. You know, they hit some tough shots today. And so we held them to 55. You know, I, we would like to see that number in the fours for sure. Um, I think part of that was our inability to score the ball. Um, but I think it says that we're gritty and tough. And, you know, I kind of joked with one of their assistants before the game, it seems like this year this team wins by one or eight or somewhere in between. Uh, you know, we've had a hard time getting away from people, but that's been our MO. It's who we are. We find ways to win games. And, um, you know, and once again, that team did the same thing today. Uh, played through it, played through adversity, played through Sid, not shooting the ball like she typically does, and yet they found a way to win. Coach, when Sid went out with fouls in the second quarter, uh, you switched into a zone defense with Michaela and Gabby at the top, and you got two quick steals. Did you ever think about going back to that later in the game? We did go back to that, and that's where the threes came from. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was effective, um, but we gave up some threes, you know. And so we went zone. We went. We switched it back and forth a little bit in the second half, depending on who they had on the floor. You know, they have a definite three-point shooting lineup. Um, and, you know, Gertz, I think, is for Oregon City. I mean, she, that kid can stroke the ball. I mean, she's a great shooter, and so and she stretches the floor. And then um, Montgomery, I mean, we, it, it's not the, the prettiest shot in the world, but my good, that kid hits big shots, and we saw it in Vegas. Or, uh, and I'm like, she shoots 25%, but when the game's on the line, she'll hit them. The reason they're here is because of 2-3 she hit in the fourth quarter. You know, so... 
Um, then they went small, and now it's a little bit of a matchup problem with our four, you know, and they hurt us with their guard, a guard on our four uh, when we went man. And so it was kind of pick your poison for them, too. Kerry Eggers, Portland Tribune. Scott, you went without Gulich the last 16, 14 minutes of the game. Why did you mm -hmm. decide to do that? Uh, just what was going was good. And Colby and Bree, I thought Bree was really going. And I thought about going back with Marie at the five um, early in the fourth quarter. You know, that's kind of what we planned on to get Bree a couple minutes rest. But then just the way the game played out, uh, it just seemed like that was right. Very similar to a year ago when we played Stanford here and Ruth was on the, on the bench for the last 12 minutes and Marie was out there. You know, each game takes on a life of its own and I think you have to be able to adapt. And that's just what it seemed right to do today. And, um, and nothing more than that. Jonathan Stout with KUZI 9. Scott, towards that final stretch of the game, uh, Long Beach State had a chance um, to win it with a couple of shots. Was it, what was sort of going through your head as you're watching this play out? Was there ever a thought that we might actually, you know, lose this game, and then what were you thinking at all, if you were, um, about what that would potentially mean, you know, for the, for the seniors having to go out like that? Well, no matter when this team ends their season, um, it's hard to do better than what they've done, and so I, I don't think their career is going to be defined by this tournament. Um, yes, I, I thought absolutely there was a chance we could lose this game today. Um, the, when I saw their mentality and the way they were playing and that we were fighting to get control of this game, uh, yeah, that was in my head the whole time. And that last sequence, I just wanted a rebound. Just get a rebound. You know, that when they had the inbounds play and threw it up and then got, came straight down, got it again, threw it up again, and we don't come down with that. I'm like, well, here we go. And, and they do a great job off their inbounds plays. Um, they're hard to guard. I mean, they just come at you.